Meteorologist Chris Boone. A little bit of cloud coverage across southern parts of the state. They actually did see some showers and storms kind of developing just to the east of the Concho Valley. That was right in towards sunset. If you had a chance to kind of look off towards the east, the sunset did a pretty good job of lighting up some of those clouds as well. You saw some of the higher tops off towards the east, despite the fact that it's over, you know, 100 miles off towards, it's still able to see the tops of them, uh, despite the curvature of the earth. Again, seeing uh, some of those storms kind of started to fizzle out as it got in towards the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but that was about all the activity that we saw, not just for the Concho Valley, but for the state of Texas. Otherwise, it's just been some of those passing clouds uh, here in the Concho Valley, basically the same, and still seeing some of those clouds kind of moving in from the southwest and moving across the area. So we'll see a little bit of an uptick in that cloud coverage as we go into the evening and overnight hours, though still seeing plenty of breaks into the overnight temperatures well above average in fact 17 degrees above average for this time of year we topped out at 96 a little bit on the cool side to start off the day but not expecting us to be that cool for tonight Again, normally we'd see those highs for the beginning of april into the upper 70s and get just a few degrees shy of tying the old record of 99 degrees so again one of the warmest days that we've seen so far for 2023 and tomorrow could be very similar into those mid to low 90s as we're not expecting a major change in our pattern still going to see those winds out of the southwest a little bit calmer for us now but as we get into the late morning hours tomorrow We'll see those winds pick right back up out of the southwest and continue into the afternoon hours. Again, seeing those gusty conditions gust up to 20, even 35 and 40 miles per hour through the late morning and early afternoon hours. That's why we do have those red flag warnings in effect for tomorrow. 70s for much of the Concho Valley. Still hanging on to some of those mid-70s further towards the east. 74 in Coleman, 75 for Brady. Same with 78. Still almost near 80 out in Junction. 60s off towards the western parts and see some upper 60s. 69 in Big Lake and 66 for us in Sterling City. And that temperature change compared to this time yesterday. About 5 degrees a bit warmer. So still seeing that warming trend for at least one more day. It's going to carry into the evening hours as well for tonight. Looking at that Time lapse. Yeah, we saw some of those high clouds really didn't affect our temperatures all that much. Again, those thin cirrus clouds usually want those low clouds if we want to keep anything a bit cooler. But as we kind of go into the evening hours, well, those cl clouds are not going to keep things warm or not keep things cool as we go into the overnight. 74 degrees right now in downtown San Angelo. Dew points into the mid 20s and the winds out of the south 13 miles per hour. Very dry conditions. Those humidity values only at 16 percent. So that's where we start to see how dangerously dry it can be when you take into consideration tomorrow's winds being more out of the west. That makes it more of a hazard for any outdoor flames and sparks. Again, just how fast those fires can quickly spread. Temperatures not going to go a whole, a whole lot of places as we go over the next 12 hours into those low 70s and upper 60s. So just a few more degrees of cooling expected. But once we get past summer, we'll start to see those temperatures begin to uptick, quickly jumping up into those 80s. And we're going to continue to roll that roller coaster up into the 90s for your afternoon highs tomorrow. Tonight, 60 we get into the upper 60s and 62 for us. Windy on the or on the windy side as those winds pick up out of the southwest. And then for tomorrow, back to the 90s once again. But this is going to be the last of a bit of 90s before we see a change in the pattern. We'll see that cold front make its arrival on Wednesday. It's going to turn those winds more out of the north. And as a result, we'll see kind of a change in our pattern. It's going to usher in those cooler temperatures, get back to where we should be for the beginning of April. Again, we do have those red flag warnings in effect for us tomorrow, basically from 277 and west. That's where we're going to see the biggest risk. Basically, that includes us here in Tom Green County and San Angelo westward. We'll see the strong gusty winds as well as those drier conditions with those dew points kind of down into the teens for some locations. Gusty winds still be off and on as we go into the overnight hours, continuing in towards your Tuesday and staying and we're out of the west southwest. So it's going to keep things fairly dry as well. But by Wednesday morning, cold front makes its arrival. As goes the winds, so do the temperatures. We'll see those temperatures kind of start to drop as those winds come more out of the north and northwest. Still on the breezy side for us on Wednesday. Got some gust into the 20s, so it's not going to be 
too strong, but those winds will continue to sell down as you go through the day on Wednesday and working our way in towards Thursday as well. So a little bit of a cool down to finish up your work week. Isolated showers that we saw off towards the east. That's basically where we're going to stay. Increased cloud coverage as we go in towards Wednesday, but the front that moves through, this is a second round of some severe storms they could see for parts of Arkansas. That frontal system doesn't really start to pick up that moisture until it gets just to the east of us. So not expecting any rain with the system on Wednesday, but by Friday could see a little bit of that moisture kind of work its way in from the Gulf of Mexico. Could see some isolated showers in towards the southeastern parts of the Concho Valley, but still very isolated. Most of us just sees the increased cloud coverage. That's going to be good news for anyone heading out to rodeo. Won't have to be dodging too many showers out there. That's going to continue for your uh, Easter weekend as well. Clouds break up a little bit. Some fantastic weather, though. You know, we'll see those cooler temperatures, a little bit of a cool down as that frontal system kind of screams across central parts of the United States. A little bit of a warm up as we get in towards the weekend. We'll see those temperatures kind of climb back up into the 80s for the beginning of next week. And again, the roller coaster basically continues. This is transition season. This is spring. We go from the 90s down into the 70s, back to the 60s, and then right back to the 80s. So a little bit of everything for your next seven days. Texas.